Well, the touchdown against Dallas, which basically won the game for us, we, it was a very controversial touchdown, and I'll explain why. First of all, we were not able to move the ball that day. Their defense was was just stifling us. We, we uh, Maddie was hurt, did not play in the game. Uh, Bullash was playing. It was a rookie, but he was playing a little hurt. We, we didn't, uh, you know, we just we didn't we couldn't move the ball, and and uh, Unitas. United threw a touchdown pass, 65, 67 yards across the middle, a deep slant, they call it a dig pattern or a post. Uh, but in those days, uh, if the ball was tipped by one of your players, it had to touch another player on, on an opposing team before you were eligible to catch it again. And uh, Eddie Hinton, the ball skimmed it. it there's no question, it, it, there was no controversy over the fact that, that Eddie Hinton touched the ball. The question was, whether the defensive back, it was either, I think it was Waters or Harris, whether they touched the ball before John caught it, and the Cowboys complained about it for 35 years. But, uh, they, but it was a huge play, and, and it, if it did divert at all, Maddie, Mackey concentrated on it and, and caught it, and it got us back in the game because we were really struggling before that. Uh, however, to me, the greatest play he ever made was earlier that year, uh, and this tells you a lot about John Unitas also. We were playing the Bears. They weren't great, but they were their typical physical team. And John threw three interceptions in the first quarter. And, and we were behind 17 nothing like that. Uh, it didn't look good. And we're fighting for, you know, we're trying to hold on to first place in the divisional race. Uh, as typical Unitas, he brought us back. And, and we, got, we cut it, we shut them down, cut it to 17 to 14. We now have the ball. And, you, you know, you would expect a typical Unitas nine-play drive, but we didn't have the time for that. There were probably 20, 25 seconds left. And he hit Mackey over the middle um, for about 65 yards for a touchdown. Mackey outran the entire secondary and won the game 21-17, a huge win for us and a huge come-from-behind win. Uh, tells you a lot about Unitas because he comes back from three interceptions, which might have discouraged somebody else. But Mackey's the guy who got open deep. Uh, and we had a tremendous wide receiver in Roy Jefferson, but it was Mackey who, who caught the long pass for the touchdown, outran everybody. I, mean, I can still see him running on that field, which was by that time frozen mud. It was late in the season, and we practiced on that field, so there was no grass left on it. And just blowing by the entire, splitting the secondary, running by the entire secondary. She's in the last, I'm saying the last waning seconds of the game to win the game for us. To me, that's, that's the play I'll always remember about John Mackey. And it's interesting when he finally got in. I was with the Cleveland Browns, and he finally was elected to the Hall of Fame. I wrote him a letter. It was days before email. And it shows he was a bigger man than me. And I, in the letter, expressed some resentment that it took this long. Because I had sort of argued for him, and, and uh, I was frustrated. But it, it, he wrote me a letter back and sent me a picture uh, autographed, and, uh, which I didn't even ask for. And he said, it doesn't matter how long I had to wait. He says, that it's great. I got in. That's all. That so it's just no bitterness. You know, there was no resentment. I was the one complaining. He wasn't. And he was just as happy as, as he possibly could be.